Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. It doesn't matter what sports you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some Major League Baseball action for September 2nd, I want to invite you to join. You will have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools here across the top to help you make your picks. Okay, we're getting down to the final month of the Major League Baseball season, and there's still a lot of teams in the playoff hunt. Nearly half the team still with a shot at the postseason. So there's a uh, pretty full slate of games for September 2nd. We will take a look at five of those games. The first one we want to look at is, uh, we'll go down through here, find there we go. Cleveland Guardians and the Kansas City Royals, the top two teams in the AL Central battle here. Cleveland is three and three over their last six games. They're coming off of a win against Kansas City. Oddly enough, it was uh, in Cleveland. And Kansas City is coming in burning hot down. They are 3-3 three three over their last six, and they have lost their last two. Um, if you take a look at the over under, the teams have been involved in games over the line in seven out of the last 12 games combined. The score prediction is for Cleveland by a pretty substantial margin, 8-2. to two, But be aware of this. The confidence in the prediction is still very low at only 15.6%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, Cleveland comes in at plus 15, while Kansas City is at plus 5. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups for the season, you see the teams have played a lot of games so far if we scroll down through here. And Kansas City has a uh, slight edge in that category in the wins and losses for the season so far. Um, if we take a look at the volatility oscillator, how stable are they, how consistent are the teams playing? With regard to their favorite underdog stats, you see a mostly upward trend for both teams with Kansas City at 25, Cleveland at 17, so both teams have been very consistent in that regard. Kansas City has a big scoring differential edge of 102 to 68. And another thing to consider is that the Royals are 41-28 at home versus 35-34 and 34 on the road for the Guardians. Um, I do like the trend to continue with the Royals uh, winning this one in a game over the line. Houston and Cincinnati. The Dodgers and the Diamondbacks. The top two teams in the AL West battle here. Um, the Dodgers are burning hot, winners of four out of the last six and winners of the last two. And the Diamondbacks also burning hot, four and two over their last six. If you look at the pitching matchups, Jack Flaherty is scheduled to pitch for the Dodgers versus Eduardo Rodriguez for Arizona. Now, Flaherty has been better this season, seven and five with 2.95 ERA. And he has a 2.55 ERA on the road. Um, and if you look at Rodriguez, he has an ERA of 6.97 at home, and despite a 2-0 record, has a high uh, 5.06 ERA for the season. The score prediction has Arizona by a 6-5 margin. The confidence in the prediction is sitting here at about 70%. On the power ranks indicator, the Dodgers are at plus 21 compared to plus 16 for Arizona, who took a dip over the last uh, day. Um, if we take a look at a couple other things, we will notice that, uh, let's see, the volatility oscillator. Right here, the teams are both very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats at 29 and 25. If we look at the head-to-head -head matchups for the season, you can see that the Dodgers have won just one out of uh, three in the last series at home. And if you look at the previous series also at home for the Dodgers, also only one out of three, and then they also played uh, three games earlier in Arizona where the Dodgers won two out of three. So interesting enough is that the road team has been dominating in the head-to-head -head matchup so far this season. But I like that to um, continue actually in this one. I like the Dodgers, and let's go with the Dodgers, but pass on the over-under. Next game we want to look at is Minnesota and Tampa Bay. Minnesota comes in losers over their last four, and they have dropped three and a half games out in the uh, – a wild card race, or excuse me, in the division. And Tampa Bay is average stats, and they are two and four over their last six. If you look at the over under, Minnesota two games over in the last six games, while Tampa Bay four games over in the last six games. So they're trending on opposite sides of the line. The score prediction is for Minnesota to win by a four to three uh, score. Confidence in the prediction is not, not extremely high, but pretty high at 69%. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, neither team is doing anything as far as that goes lately. Um, Tampa Bay is as a plus nine. Because of Minnesota's four trend, they're down to zero. You can see they were way up here as high as 23 
back on uh, August the uh, 17th, and they have just plummeted since then. Okay, um, if we take a look at the head to head matchups, you can see the team met three times earlier this season back in June in Minnesota with Tampa Bay winning two out of the three games. But notice in the three contests, each game was decided by a single run. The Twins have a score differential edge, a huge one at that, at plus 63 to minus 63. And Minnesota is um, three games over 500 on the road. I like Minnesota to get back on track, ending their losing streak. But I'm going to pick this one to be a game going under the line. We also want to look at Boston and the New York Mets. Boston comes in burning hot 2-4 and four over the last six. While the Mets are also burning hot, they are 3-3 three and three over their last six games. Um, over and under, you can see the teams trending in games under the line over the last few. Prior to that, uh, the games were trending over the line. The score prediction is Boston 7, Minnesota, Minnesota, New York Mets 5. Conference in the prediction, though, is still very low at only 51%. I'm taking a look at the power ranks indicator, and you can see a big edge for the Mets there at plus 20. And uh, Boston was at plus 22, and they just dropped in a single day down to uh, plus 6. If we take a look at a couple other things, New York has a scoring differential edge of plus 33 to plus 10. But here's a catcher here. The Red Sox are 38 and 27 on the road and have a better record than the Mets home record. And also, last year Boston won two of the three games between the teams. I like that to continue. And I'm going to think this will be a lower scoring game. So let's go with Boston and under the line. Okay, and we have one more game we want to cover here. And it's the Yankees and the Rangers. The Yankees coming in uh, three and three over their last six, but although they lost their last two, and Texas is on a three-game winning streak, although it was only against Chicago, <laughs> um, worst record in the baseball, perhaps one of the worst teams in ba baseball history. But that's beside the point. Um, they are four and two over their last six. If you take a look at the over/under, the teams have been under the line in the last seven games combined. The score prediction is for the Yankees by a 7-2 margin. High confidence in the prediction of nearly 80%. Head-to-head, um, -head, we can look here. The teams played three games um, earlier this month in New York, and the Yankees won two out of the three games. Uh, two of them were, well, the one win was by eight runs. The other one was by a single run, with uh, Texas winning the middle game by five runs. There's a huge scoring differential edge for the Yankees at plus 126 compared to minus 41. And also, they're much better on the road than Texas is even at home. So really, I like the Yankees in this one. I don't see much of a chance for, for Texas in this one. They've kind of, I shouldn't say they checked out, but nine and a half games out of the final wild card spot, they're pretty much out of the race. So let's go with the Yankees in a game over the line. Okay, there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for September 2nd. Happy betting and see you next time.